Breast is also known as a mammary gland and an accessory of reproduction. It is situated on each side of the sternum and it extends between the levels of the second and the sixth rib. Breast cancer can start in one or both breasts. Breast cancer is said to happen when the cells in the breast begin to grow out of control. There are different types of breast cancers and the type depends on the kind of cell which is growing out of control in the breast. My name is Nayadits. Thanks for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet and you are new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button and be part of the team Nayadit. Stay tuned as I take you through breast cancer and its awareness. Let me piece yourself back together now. What's your vision? Thanks for subscribing. Now to the parts of the breast. The breast parts are the, the lobules, the ducts, and the connective tissue. The lobules, they are the glands that produces milk, and the ducts are tubes that carry milk to the nipple. The connective tissue also deals with the fibrous and the fatty tissues that surrounds and holds the breast together. A lot of breast cancers take place in the lobules and the ducts. The cancer can spread from the breast to other parts of the body through the blood vessels and the lymph vessels. And when the cancer of the breast spreads to the other parts of the body, we say metastasis has occurred or has taken place. Now to the risk factors. When we say risk factors, what are the things that can predispose a person to breast cancer? Um, we have something like old age, like people, women above the ages of 50 are susceptible to breast cancer and people with personal history of breast cancer, someone who has had a breast cancer before can get it again or can experience another breast cancer depending on how the treatment went or, yeah. And people with family history of breast cancer, maybe your mother, your sister, or any close relative around you has experienced this breast cancer before, that means you have this trend of breast cancer in your blood so you can also experience it and people who are not physically active people who don't engage themselves in the uh, some exercises and physical activities and people with dense breast like people with a lot of connective tissues in their breasts are also susceptible to breast cancer and people who take uh, hormones like oral contraceptives, I mean some, some oral contraceptives can predispose a person to breast cancer. And some of the foods that we take in and the intake of alcohol can also predispose someone to breast cancer. Now to the signs and symptoms, how would you know that this sign is a sign of this breast cancer that we are creating awareness of? One, you can have a swollen breast on all parts of the breast. So you can go to the hospital just for screening or to go through this mammogram test to know whether it's indeed breast cancer. And also there can be a swelling of the, the lymph under the arm and also there can be a lump in the breast. You can also experience retracted nipple and you can experience irritation of the breast. You can experience redness of the breast and pain in the breast also. And also discharges from the nipple sometimes. These are all signs of breast cancer. So if you're having these signs, you better rush to the hospital to see your doctor and find out whether it is indeed a breast cancer or another kind of infection. Someone will ask, what are the solutions to this cancer disease, breast cancer to be precise? There are a lot of solutions to this and it includes surgery, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, immunotherapy, and drug therapy. So these are a lot of ways that we use in solving this breast cancer problem. So now to the prevention. You can do routine mammograms. That is where you go and the medical practitioners do a screening on your breast to look out for small cancer cells that you cannot see with your naked eye or can't feel on palpation. Sometimes too, you can practice self-breast examination. When I say self-breast examination, that is what we do after our menstruation every month. That is after your menses every month, you palpate your breast in a circular manner just to check for any lymph nodes, any pain, or any secretion in the nipple after squeezing. 
and you can also go to a medical practitioner for them to do this breast examination for you maybe you are not able to do it well as they can do it research proves that the percentage of breast cancers that are noticed when health practitioners palpate the breast is higher than when individuals do that in their various homes try this and you will be free from breast cancer or you'll be able to detect it earlier than it's transferring to other parts of the body and you can also consider those risk factors that are manageable that i mentioned before or you can also try and curb those manageable risk factors that i mentioned before like the exercises so you need to do some exercises often and you need to stay away from alcohol and you also need to see your doctor before you take this oral contraceptives or you take any hormones into your body okay thank you very much for watching this video keep subscribing keep sharing and keep liking my name is nayadit makramo